So today I'm just making a little tutorial on how to make this spiffy painting here. It's basically five life goals that I came up with and that I made into a very interesting sort of Andy Warhol-ish kind of painting. So if you want to make something similar, then you can follow along. The first thing you want to do is to make or is to take pictures of yourself making a lot of really fun and silly expressions. The more the better. And then recolor them in like Publisher and then uh, figure out the size that you need to fill your canvas. I had some space on the top and bottom of my canvas so I kind of just made a, an outline to make sure that when I started gluing them pictures onto the canvas that everything was straight. But however you decide to do it may turn out differently. Once you decide how you want your layout, then you just start mod podging everything on there. Now I didn't buy my mod podge, I made a sort of homemade version, and you can do this too. Um, and all it is is Elmer's glue and water, and it's However, amount, the amount of glue that you use, then half of that amount is the water that you need. So if you end up using like half a cup of glue, then you'll just need a fourth a cup of water. You really won't need that much, but you get the idea. So then you just kind of stick some Mod Podge onto the canvas and then as just like a surface for it to stick and then you lay your picture on there as flat as you can and as straight as you can and then you go over it with another layer of Mod Podge just to kind of seal it in there and um, flatten all the edges down. Don't worry if it starts to wrinkle, this is totally normal. Um, it will flatten out as it dries. So after that first layer, I let it dry really well, and then I added a second layer just to make sure that it was good and solidly glued onto there. So same, same thing, if it starts to wrinkle, just leave it. It'll dry out flat, for the most part anyway. I would advise picking at it because I ended up accidentally doing that and made a kind of nasty little ridge into one of my expressions there. So yeah, I advise not to poke at it. And when it dries, it's a complete matte finish. So if you want it to be shiny, then you can put a gloss over it, like I did here. And you kind of just want to coat it all over. I put it all over the canvas as well because I just wanted everything to have a nice shine to it.
Also, whatever gloss you use will probably be really smelly. Um, mine was too. So you'll want to use a fan so you don't asphyxiate yourself. Plus, it helps the painting dry faster. So, bonus! So after I let that dry really well, I put on a second coat because there were some spots that I missed. So I would recommend doing at least two coats just to make sure that everything is completely shiny. Okay, so here's the part where I put on the life goals. And I just took some white acrylic paint and I just started to do a light outline at first. I couldn't really write it on there in pencil because of the gloss was so shiny. So if you're going to put gloss on there um, and you want your letters to be in a very specific spot, you might want to kind of lightly go over it in pencil before you gloss it. I don't know how that'll work out because I didn't do that. So if you, if you do decide to do that, then I would be careful that you don't smear the, the pencil when you gloss it. I couldn't quite decide where I wanted this particular letter. It was hard because I ended up having to cover up some of my face in some of the pictures. Anyway, so then once you've gone on it lightly, then you kind of just go over it again to make sure that it stands out more. And now that you have where you need your letters to be, it's easier to just fill it in. The gloss works really nice here because if you kind of accidentally put too much paint on there, you can just, if you're quick, you can wipe it right off and try again. So my five life goals were stay healthy, experience everything, be authentic, find the positive, and make a difference. And the way I would describe these are they're just kind of some general life guidelines to kind of help you like when you're trying to make life decisions like you just refer to these am I meeting any what is my decision going to meet any of these goals if not do I really want to do it so you want to find things that are not too specific but are but kind of more general things that are really important to you like it's very important for me to stay healthy and fit. So that was one of my goals.
So once I had all of that down, I outlined it in like this black gel pen, which I really wouldn't recommend because it smears really easy. I wanted to use a black Sharpie, but for some reason I couldn't find one. And all this really does is kind of give the lettering a shadow and kind of make it stand out from the background, give it a little contrast. And if you use the gloss, then just try to get the outline on as much as the paint as you can because that way it's a little less, it smears a little less. So just take your time and sometimes I find that when I hold my breath a little bit, it's easier to draw straight lines. Leaning your hand up against the painting also helps. If you happen to make a weird little squiggly somewhere, just kind of make the line a little thicker. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just basically for shading and contrast purposes. Unless you look at this really close up, it's not really too big a deal. The point is that it will stand out from far away. So, you know, after you go through all the lettering, it should look something like this. So you can see how much that stands out. And if you see a close-up, you can see that I didn't have it completely perfect. There were a lot of weird variations. So, you know, it doesn't, it's not a a big problem is it looks a little squiggly. So for that blank space, I just filled it in a bit with some black acrylic paint. I didn't want to use any color because I thought it would clash with the rest of the pictures. And I kind of threw it on there in some globulates. And I like the texture, so I kind of just kept, kept going with it. Then I crocheted a little heart and just hot glued it into the center of that square. If you don't crochet, you don't have to do this. Um, you can just use like some red felt. Um, and you don't even have to put a heart, you could put something completely different, or you could not leave a space either. It's just totally up to you. So then I did some chains with some yarn and used that to outline the edges, just so it looked a little crisper. Also, if you don't crochet, you can just use some yarn. But, yep. There you go. And that's it. So, thanks for watching. Have fun.